everybody Donna self-esteem queen I actually made like three videos before I left and went on vacation but then I went on vacation and decided that I didn't want to edit the video so those videos will come at another time I'm sure that they'll come right on time for some people but right now I want to talk about some things because I'm fresh off of a talk at a college um, in Las Vegas and I went in to talk to students about what I thought was going to be entrepreneurship but I ended up actually giving like the mini manifesto of my life because these students wanted to really talk about work-life balance as an entrepreneur they wanted to talk about you know how I was able to retire my mom they you know they had this perception after reading my biography they had this perception of who they thought I was now I, I I'll, I'll admit I'm I'm doing well for myself and I definitely don't have a thing to complain about. But I will let you know that people don't know what happens behind the scenes. And because people don't know what happens behind the scenes, they have this perception that it's easy or that I'm superwoman. And there's a lot of pain that comes with, you know, what I feel God has blessed me with. I just put on social media not too long ago, like maybe a few days ago, as I'm, as I'm gaining business clients, I'm losing personal friends for one reason or another, and it's really nobody's fault. And I explained to these kids a few nuggets, and then when I was done, I wrote them down because it was so impromptu, so I just wanted to share these nuggets with you. Okay, nugget number one. Your relationships determine the quality of your life, okay? And some are worth saving and some are not. You know, your job is to determine and, and, and make really conscious decisions about what relationships in your life you're willing to save as you're reaching your dreams in life. I love the people in my life that make it easy for me to be myself. I love the people in my life that I don't have to question, you know, their loyalty, if they would be there for me. I love the people in my life that whose actions speak louder than their words. I love the people like that. And I feel like people like that keep me nourished. And sometimes the person who was that person for me last year or even six months ago is not that person for me now. That's one of the reasons why every three months I sort of, you know, either add new people or eliminate other people to add in new people to my life because what surrounds me, the energy, it's everything. And if a relationship is difficult, you have to ask yourself, is it worth working at? And how long are you going to work at that relationship before you let it go to move on to something else? We only have a little bit of time here on this earth. You know, we, we, we're always, you know, RIP to somebody. Every time we turn around, it's RIP to somebody, right? So the thing that beeps, by the way, you guys, is this, right? And I'm just not going to pay a whole bunch of money to go get a battery when it works just fine and it because it's plugged into the wall so I don't know what the battery is for okay so your relationships matter and in life you need to determine which ones are important for you which ones are worth saving and which ones are you know I love you from afar girl and and I'll just pray for you from over here girl you know you'll have some of those relationships where you know maybe a year ago you guys were thick as thieves sometimes it happens don't take it personal and just be able to move on because God wouldn't bring people into your life if it weren't for you to teach them something or for them to teach you something or both of you to teach somebody something. 
You know, everything is a learning experience. And when you look at it that way, nobody has to be wrong in order for you to be right. And nobody has to be a horrible person in order for you to be a great person and vice versa. So sometimes you have to just let people come in and out of your life and be really fluid about it because it's not always a bad thing and everybody is not always out to hurt you. But the people who are loyal, you know who they are. And those are the ones that stick around year after year after year, time in and time out. The next thing I talked about, I said women sometimes lose themselves and have to be reminded of who they are. And that's something that I have experienced, especially in coaching high profile people. So I don't, um, I'm not the type of person that takes pictures with the person that I coach. If they're a celebrity, I just don't think that that's important. If there's a, a change in, in their perception and their brand, and, and it's a result of partly working with me, I see that, and I'm humble when I see that, and I understand that, you know, because I'm not out there and, like, name-dropping every chance I get, that, you know, there's a, there's a perceived value um, to what I do. I know that there's a perceived value because I don't run out of clients. I can only coach two people a year at my highest level. I can only coach two a year because it's very time consuming and I'm the executive director of the SEQ Hope Foundation. I make candles as a fundraiser for the SEQ Hope Foundation. SelfEsteemQueen.com is its own brand with speaking and retreats and conferences and keynote speaking, right? Then the SEQ Hope Foundation. So I have a lot going on. I belong to other memberships and and do a lot of different things. And it's difficult to do everything. But sometimes I lose myself in all the things that I do because I also come home and I'm a mom. I also come home and I'm a daughter. I also come home and I'm a teacher. So when I come home and I'm that, and then I'm also an entrepreneur. So when I, when I wear all these different hats, sometimes I lose myself. And it's really important for men as well, but women especially, to remember who they are because sometimes we get so lost in helping other people to accomplish things that we forget that those are accomplishments for us within themselves. So see the next thing that I talked about, you are creating a legacy. What life are you leaving behind for others to see and can they model it? So you know there are there are you know so many there are so many people who uh, don't don't really think about um, you know what what they're leaving behind, especially with social media and, and the and the World Wide Web and you know this this footprint of what we leave behind. It's like I can find things on the internet from 1984, and I don't even think the internet was around in 1984. I don't think so. But I can find articles from newspapers that were archived from 1984 because there's a footprint there. And I often wonder when I see different people doing different things in media, you know, maybe for 15 minutes of fame or maybe not. Maybe that's just their circumstance in life. I always wonder, you know, this legacy that you're leaving, like how do you explain that to, to, to your children or, or, you know, to anybody that's, that, that, that's supposed to be led by you in, in the future? You know, what legacy are you leaving? And more important, who's, who are the people around you that are holding you accountable for your dreams? You know, and then that goes back to, you know, make sure that the people around you are, you know, great people and have great energy. So, but who's holding you accountable for your dreams? So, and then the last thing is, you know, I tell people I'm always the person to help out everyone else, but when am I helping me? You know, and you would think that with all these different things going on, I mean, Oftentimes, I'll just drive up the coast of PCH and I'll just, you know, have my music playing. And that is very relaxing to me. Sometimes at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, that's very relaxing to me. And sometimes I'll go sit on the beach and do Reiki. That's very relaxing to me. It is hard when you are an energy healer. It is very different for a person like me to be around and amongst so many different energies at one time. And so I find most of my own personal healing time is in the wee hours of the morning or the late hours of the night. And you have to figure out what's best for you 
right? Especially people that want to be entrepreneurs and you want to create a product that can help other people and you're going to push that product. You may be the only person doing your marketing. You may be the only person doing, you know, your, your, your accounting. You, you may be a one man show and you may be a one man show until you can find the people to pay or people that you can trust to help you with your business, to build that team, to build that tribe. And until you do that, you have to make sure that daily you're building you. That's a little bit about, you know, what I talked about today. And then also, I'm going to talk about some things that I just learned about myself during vacation. They have to do with the communication between my mom and I. And, you know, things kind of came to a head because my bank account was, like, hacked. And it was like right before we're supposed to go on vacation. And I'm like, really? And it was like, I mean, it literally just got resolved yesterday. And I was just like, I am not like canceling my vacation for this. So I learned a lot of things about communication, like thereof. And, you know, just different things that, you know, may help you in your quest to communicate better with other people. So it's Dawn the Self Esteem Queen. Love you guys so much. And there's absolutely positively nothing you can do about it. Who am I to be here? Climbing all my